Hi, I'm Harry Zucker, president and founder of You Save LED. We are the inventors of Walla Light, the greatest lighting invention to come to America in the past 150 years since Thomas Edison invented the light bulb. And this is what a Walla Light does. It can give you the energy of the bright white light, the relaxation of the warm yellow light, and everything in the spectrum in between. When the retina picks up a bright white light, the sun, it tells the brain to produce cortisol, dopamine, and serotonin, all of which are uplifting and make you productive. Then it changes all the way to a very warm light, so you stop the secretion of those hormones and start the secretion of melatonin, which gets you ready for sleeping and is rich in antioxidants. This light is particularly effective uh, deployed in educational, K through 12, as well as higher educational institutions, hospitals, elder care facilities, uh, correctional institutions, as well as just offices in general. Wild Light is a health promoter, and that is a real fact that people need to realize that lighting can benefit your body well. Sleep is a great antioxidant. It's the best antioxidant you can have. So how do you get sleep? You have to have a circadian rhythm going that will let you sleep at night. The wild light system is designed to last uh, at least 50,000 hours. The light is designed for very, very long life. The typical office light, if it's a par bulb in a can in the ceiling, for example, uh, is rated for 2,500 hours, but generally doesn't last that long, let's say 2,000 hours. So you would replace that light bulb 25 times before you'd have to replace the comparable wall light. As far as educational facilities, this is very important for students. Because students are being exposed to artificial lights throughout the entire day, especially when they go home and they're trying to go to sleep. And we actually have a study that students were exposed to this bright Kelvin temperature and scored 13% greater on standardized testing. A recent study at Ohio State University coined the term the three S's, which they've linked to ADHD. And the three S's uh, have to do with the lack of sunlight, the increased exposure to screens, and sleep deprivation that's prevalent among many students today. 75% of seniors over the age of 70 have sleeping disorders where they end up taking drugs and medicine to fall asleep. Now think about this. We're using a wall of light, if we do the nursing home, you bring your parents to our nursing home and we tell you that we can make your parents be alert during the day and sleep at night using light instead of drugs. Now is that a powerful statement?